while battered and bruised by the English bowler Howard Larwood in the notorious Bodyline series, Don Bradman had absolutely no doubt who was the fastest man he had ever faced. It was not Larwood, but a Queenslander called Eddie Gilbert. In the 1931 Sheffield Shield match, Eddie's first ball dismissed the New South Wales opening bat for a duck. Next up was Don Bradman the best batsman in the world, in peak form. He blocked the first delivery. The next saw him flat on his back, getting out of the road of a rising ball. The third actually knocked the bat from his hands. Eddie's final delivery glanced off Bradman's bat and was caught by the keeper, over his head, halfway to the boundary. The Don was out for a duck. The speed and force of Eddie Gilbert's bowling was remarkable. He stood a mere 172 centimetres, five foot eight tall, was a flyweight at 57 kilos, and had a shuffling run-up of only four or five paces. Even more remarkable is that, although he represented his state, he was never selected to play for Australia. The 1930s were a time when the lives of Aboriginal people were managed, supervised and controlled. Eddie Gilbert's life fell under the control of the Queensland Aboriginal Protection Board. At the age of four, he was taken from his mother to live in a dormitory in the Sherberg Aboriginal Settlement at Burrumba. As a part of the assimilation process, the boys were taught to play cricket. Eddie recalled that for a long time cricket didn't appeal to me. I was very fond of throwing the boomerangs and this helped with developing my right shoulder and wrist. The strength and control of Eddie's wrist combined with his compression and explosive power was described by Alan McGilvray. He came at you with a blinding flash of arm and hand and let the ball go like a bullet. It was not only his cricket, but his sportsmanship and modesty that made him popular with the public and a hero to his people. At Sherberg, they converted the song Our Don Bradman to Our Eddie Gilbert and I ask you, is he any good? <laughs>